Previously on Surviving Sliptopia. Minecraft 1.5 now. And uh, earlier today I was getting ready to do some stuff and things and I came over here to the altar to Smoothstone. And uh... Yeah. The door's broken. Um, and so what I thought is that today we would go through and take a look at all of the different stuff and things uh, that are working that are not and do kind of a world tour. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipcater here. There's some experience right there because, uh, yeah, there was a creeper in here. Hope you're having a good day. Whatever day that it is that you're watching, I hope it's good. We're running 1.5. We've got OptiFine installed. we got some stuff and things going on that's a little bit weird. Check out these textures. See, you can see the lines, block lines between them. Been messing around with the settings. Look at that. That is terrible. See on the smooth stone? You can see that. Up close, can't really see it as much. But it's still kind of sort of there. But uh, not sure what that is. If you have any idea what that setting is, let me know. Oh my god, I can't stand it. So today, or last time, pardon me, we talked about all the things that were broken. Today we're going to fix all the things that were broken. Or try to, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything works out. So we're going to grab a bunch of stuff and things. We need some of that. We need some of that. Don't need any buttons. Uh, we might need some pistons. So we'll grab a little bit of those. But yeah, so a bunch of things we're going to get fixed up today, and the uh, first thing that we're going to do is head up to the top of the observation tower, and we're going to light it up. Um, I never really noticed a problem with spawns in there until I uh, went to 1.5. Alright, we're getting some recording causing the elevator to work a little bit funny, but uh, it was working fine earlier before I hit the record button. Alright, so we've been getting some spawns in here. Let me go ahead and just ch check up on everything before I walk in. Uh, and if you take a look at our BL level, 7, 6, 7, 6. So it doesn't surprise me that we would get some spawns in here because the light level is terrible. Um, so I was trying to think of what we could do to get it lit up a little bit better. And with uh, we got some major lighting glitches in here, of course because uh, this has never worked correctly. But I'm thinking that what we can do is just really simply take some smooth, or take some glowstone and uh, light it up a little bit better. So we want to mirror it on both the sides um, and I think it'll look good. Uh, it'll help with the light levels, which uh, is the most important thing and we don't really want there to be any uh, problems with, with lighting in here. So now if we take a look over here, 10, 11, Nine, eight. So we got some eight over in this area too. So that's not good. Hmm. Let me try to think here what we can do. I'm not sure if we got this on the full block level or the half block level. All right. So that ain't gonna work. Let's go ahead and stick this guy in here like that. Pick that guy up because we misplaced it. Place another one down to fix it. And uh, so we can't really put glowstone on this level. Um, let me see. I don't want this to get too, too ugly. We may just be able to do that instead of these. So let's take these off now and just see. We've got 9, 9, 10, 9. So that's a little bit better and actually kind of looks kind of cool. So let's see about mirroring that over on this side here. Where was that guy? Right up here? Yeah, like that. So, all right, we got to get this stuff lit up. We're going to work on that. We're going to work on the door over here. We're going to fix all the broken things. I think there's only a couple, but we are going to work on getting stuff fixed today after the 1.5 update. So I'm going to work on some lighting stuff, and I'll see you in just a second. Fixed. All right, so that's fixed. Check the light levels. Everything's pretty good. There's a couple spots of eight, but I'm not really that worried about it. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. So next thing we want to do is come over here. Lay me on top of it. Oh, yeah. And uh, if you remember in the last episode, we took a look at this, and uh, this was not working at all. So basically, this pulse nor used to, when this button hit, it would pulse the block um, and then do quick pulse on this piston and then toggle this redstone block. But this isn't working anymore. So I did want to kind of try a couple experiments first, or one experiment first, just to see 
No, that doesn't matter. All right, so basically what that means is that this whole thing is bad and uh, ain't gonna work no more. So it was a neat one wide design, but not working. So we're gonna have to take a sec here and put up one of the old, well not old, but one of the, uh, I think we're gonna use the silent flops that I used before. So let me take a look here how that's gonna work. Hmm, I think we should have enough room to build it. Um, trying to think about how we want it to face. I got some cobble blocks. We'll use those for building blocks just to be, just to be different. Um, it does require three wide, and it does require there to be redstone on on this side. Let me take a look here. Hmm, let me have a think about how it'll fit in here. All right. So I put the silent flip-flop in here that I'd used on uh, the front door and on the diagonal door. And uh, yeah, if you're unfamiliar, this is what it looks like. And I did a little bit of moving around here. I built it a couple of times so that um, I could make it fit and have it not interfere with anything. Um, oh, we want to get some light in here too. Uh, that should be good. Let's just double check. Perfect. So, um, I didn't want anything to interfere with anything else, and the action on the door has changed in the update. Uh, the opening is extremely smooth. The closing, the bottoms close slower. Um, I have no idea why that is. Um, I can't see a reason for it. Ugh. So, I can't see a reason for it anywhere, but regardless of that, this is fixed all right so next project i can't remember what the other things that we have that are broken are oh yeah i remember now so the next thing we want to work at work on is in the nether let me see if i got enough supplies here we're gonna need more stuff and things so let's go ahead and go back to uh the emborium grab some stuff and things uh we're gonna need a bunch more redstone i do believe let's go ahead and grab like that much more um we got some levers i don't think we need anything else we got some glowstone just for giggles we'll grab some more and i think we're gonna need a sign hmm and that should be it i'll see you back in the nether all right so if you remember in the last episode um, I'd come down in the nether and uh, noticed that the uh, bud that I had set up to switch uh, tracks is not working either and it's actually been something that I've never been really pleased with that design. It, it, it's, a, it's a fun trick, but uh, it's never been the design that I really liked. I didn't like that I had to like hit this on the way by, I just always kind of thought that sucked. Where did those uh, wither guys go? Come on, wither guys. What up, man? Skull? You got skull? We'll throw away the coal. Um. Um. What? Do, what? do what I do what I tell you immediately. Skull? No skull. Stupid. Stupid cool. Look at that graphics glitch. Boy, that sucks. It's like yellow lines in here. Alright, anyway. So, never was super happy that uh, you had to kind of like mess with this and hit it as you went by. And I always thought that that just kind of stunk. Um, I never really liked it. And I'm not sure if this bud is still working or not. So let's go ahead and uh, just remove this. Yeah, so the bud still works. Um... So you can hear it, uh, but it's it's not working with the fence gate. So uh, just to double check, we'll replace the fence gate here. Let's go ahead and uh, oh, um, dirt. I am full of stuff and things. Stay right there. So let's check this out. We should be able to refit. Place the fence. All right, so that's just not going to work. The system is not going to work at all anymore. Um, and so what we're going to want, what I want to do with it, or what I think would be much much better, is a switch back at uh, the original house. 
back at the original uh, beginning of the nether here and a switch that that will work uh, much better and it'll be a lot easier for us to just hit a switch and we'll be good to go. Now that means that a lot of stuff and things can change over here. We're, we'll keep this line um, so that we have a place for our stuff and things to go. We don't need you. Um, keep this redstone line and that goes down into into that area but we want to be able to switch it back and forth um, and I think we're gonna use we're gonna use a lever or something like that but let's take a look over here to what we got so I want to run we got to run power all the way back there and really the easiest way to do it would be to just run it right on top and then we can bring it right over into this area so that would probably work out best we got mad gas and stuff all over the place. I'm on fire! Oh no! Oh, it's a battle. Oh yeah, you better run. Where's this other blaze at? Oh my gosh. I hear you're around here. Where are you, man? Maybe you're inside. Whatever. As long as you just leave me alone. Um, so I'm thinking what we're going to do is build this out as if it was a thing. And then we should be able to run our wiring right in there. like so um, and then we can come over here and just run it right on the top and as long as we don't mess around with coming out here and getting shot we should be okay um, and I th think it should although it may not update the entire way it'll update as we move so as we move down the the mine rail it should update the redstone all the way down we shouldn't have a problem with that we'll have to check it out though what up guys give me those skulls Who wants your coal? No one wants your coal. People only want your skulls, man. Ugh. Stupid. So, um, I think that we're going to want to put this on a bud as well. And uh, maybe put a couple lights on it or something like that. Uh, not a bud switch, a flop. We're going to probably want to flop it. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to work. Actually, we don't need to flop it. We just could use a lever and use that sign. That'll probably be a lot easier. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to do is take out this kind of cramped spot here. Um, so I'm going to work on it a little bit more. And once I get it fixed, what is going on? I'm, I'll be right back with you. Oh my god, you scared me, guy. All right, so I got some wiring done. And the way we have it set now, this is going to the ICED and if we come back here you'll see it's just a real simple redstone line that runs all the way up and around and that's exactly what I was afraid of where's that coming from so I where are you guy why are you such why what is happening run oh no I gotta hit this Open up. All right. So did that destroy some of this wire? All right, it did not. Do you guys see those graphic glitches above the redstone, the repeaters? I really would. Oh my God, where? They're everywhere. So I want to get this, uh, all this redstone covered up, and um, I have a lot of redstone or of uh, nether brick stairs, like a ton. Um, I have a bunch of stacks in here now, and I brought some more with me. So we're going to put some of the stuff away. Let me go ahead and reseat this. And I stole a little bit of the, uh, I stole a little bit of my lapis brick that I normally put on uh, any blocks that have power, any sort of uh, blocks that do a thing. Um, so I think this is where we're going to put the, uh, 
put the thingy doodler and then we'll take the sign like so and um, yeah we'll leave it there for now I gotta figure it out so down is uh, to the ICED and up is to the fortress and we'll make a little sign there but I'm gonna work on getting the rest of this fixed up covered entire thing oh my god and uh, I'll be back with you guys when it's finished so it's pretty much complete let me go ahead and we want to go to the ICED so up for the ICED, down for Fortress, um, but uh, all the wiring is run, but I haven't cleaned this room up here, so I thought we'd hang out for just a minute and we'll clean this up. Um, and then we're going to head back into uh, Fortress and look at um, the Zoomavoid uh, minecart station that we have over there. And actually, I think I may have forgotten a step here, but uh, everything's working. We're supposed to be going to the ICED, or to... Oh, wait. Yeah, I said ICED, didn't I? Oh, something's not working. Uh, all right, so this sh it should be to Fortress, wherever it is. And uh, yeah, let's just double check. See, you can see all the line work here. I just got it all covered up like that. I could have used, and I didn't even think about it, but I could have used nether brick half slabs. I just didn't. So I'm not going to replace it all now. Um, but we shouldn't have any signal cut off anywhere, I don't believe. And... Uh, Right now it should be powered off and it is set for fortress. So let's see here. So we can see it's powered off. So this is backwards. Up for fortress. Down. for the ICED. So down, let's go ahead and throw these blocks back on. Like so. And take our minecart. So this should take us to ICED, right? Is that what we had to set for? I really hope this works. Um, I gotta go back up there in a second too. And we're gonna fix this room up, like I had said, but let's just make sure that we got this working first. ICED. All right, perfect. So I'm going to fix the room up and then I'll meet you back at Fortress. We're going to work on the minecart rail selector station over there. I'll see ya. Here we are at Fortress and uh, like I said, we're going to work on the minecart station here. Um, I do believe... I do believe that uh, someone's mentioned me. Pardon me. Uh, the only thing that I remember there here that was broken uh, was the minecart selector it was a design uh, an older design by Zazumavoid. so we're gonna head in and uh, I hope we should be able to make it we should be able to make it there without any problems um, the selector is close to the selector track is very close to the selector system so uh, it should be pretty easy to get over there um, but uh, yeah I'm really interested in what's going on with those textures I really, really hate it. I, I worked with connected textures in the settings and chunk loading. Like, I toggled just about every setting there was. Okay, the return system actually still works. All right, that's good. So if you saw that really quickly, the return system uh, toggles based on when you hit this. It resets everything. Now, inside of here is where the stuff and things are. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is ripping out the front here and taking a look. And uh, I'm really not sure much about how this works. To be honest with you, um, it's been a long time since I've messed with it. And I'm not exactly sure how those, how these states hold information so it is a little bit complicated um, it may not be fixable it may have to be redesigned so I'm gonna take a look at this for a couple more minutes and come back to you guys so it took a bit of fiddling and uh, I got it working again we don't have a feedback system yet but uh, just really quickly if you want to know what was going on there used to be uh, a block like right above here with a redstone torch on it and there used to be a redstone torch in uh, right there 
So on each one of these blocks here, there was a redstone torch. I replaced those all with just redstone. And then uh, down inside of here, this was just an L shape of redstone. So I put a repeater in there and a repeater in there. Um, and that seems to have fixed the cells so that they're holding their states now. Um, and I haven't really worked on a feedback system. There's not a lot of room in here to do it. It's pretty much got to be one wide. Um, I can mess around that later, but I can show you. So uh, you can see here that the fourth cell is holding... Um, and that's causing uh, this last this last uh, rail to, to point in that direction so the cart will come down here and go in that direction. Um, if you hit the, the second selector you can see now that uh, this uh, rail is, is uh, these are all pointing in that direction, that one's going and it will do that down the line so that one's holding its state now this one's holding its state now um, so that effectively fixes it, um, except for the pretty little lights. We don't have uh, pretty little lights anymore, but um, I'm more concerned that, that the fact that it's working than that it has pretty little lights. So um, we can put this all back together now. I may be able to futz around with uh, a, different, uh, a different system to give us feedback, but uh, yeah, that's fixed. Fixed! So it's just about to make my way back uh, to the canvas and I remembered that there's something that 1.5 didn't break that I've been meaning to fix for uh, for quite a while so I grabbed some stuff real quick or one thing real quick boy my inventory is a mess um, but I grabbed something real quick here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this fixed right now so there's a, a problem right here where um, the track slows down if you're sending a minecart in it without a person in it and uh, that's not cool so we're gonna go ahead and get that fixed up now this should travel a lot more smoothly and uh, yeah it's perfect all right now it's time to make our way back to canvas and we're gonna wrap it up for today so it's been a long day doing stuff and things getting stuff fixed up in our world but I feel like it was good like that's not a lot not really that bad I think that was uh, in all the time that I've been uh, been uh, building Sliptopia, um, that's the only time I've really had to go back and fix something. So it's been about a year almost. We're almost at the one year anniversary. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys had fun hanging out today, fixing all of the stuff in my world. Um, I think I might have missed something. The orange pickle storage closet. Oh yeah, there's a bud switch in there that needs to get fixed. Not a bud, a flip flop. But uh, I can do that later. That's all we got for today, guys. Thanks very much for hanging out. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.